hello my beautiful butterflies and welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video I have a haul video but you guys before we get into any of that you know the drill let's do a little bit of housekeeping just in case you're interested and so first on my face today as coverage I'm using my favorite just about in every video is my Labageous tint right here from Chanel. This is a light to medium water-based tint that gives you a nice even coverage. It's so light. I absolutely love it. I'm in the shade B50 for reference. So that's what I have on my face today. And then next, y'all. These eyes, oh my gosh, I went so bright today, very dramatic, you guys, but I'm using this new Les for Ombre's Quad from Chanel from their new collection, and I think this collection has not yet launched yet. I did an unboxing of it, and it's their new spring 2024 collection, so I'm using that palette in the shade 78 Ravage. Y'all, here it is right here. There you go. That is what I have on my eyes today. I did a really, really simple look with this, you guys. I did use all of the colors, so the blue is swept all over my lid. Then this brown is my transition shade in my crease. And then these two shades right here, which are shimmer shades. This one's more of a glittery shimmer and this one's more of a satin shimmer. But I mixed the two of these and I put them in my inner tear duct for a highlight. So that is what I have all on my eyes today, you guys. Now you don't have to go bright and dramatic like I did. Y'all, y'all can tone it down with this shadow. You don't even have to use the blue if you don't want to. But, yeah, you know your girl. Always go for that pop of color on my eyes. So, that is what I have on my eyes today, you guys. And hopefully, you can see that. And then next, as an eyeliner underneath my eyes, another one from that collection. And it's the Waterproof Eyeliner. And it's in the shade number 82. And this is a beautiful bright blue. And there it is right there. And yes, again, I could have toned my look down with, you know, using a brown eyeliner. But y'all, I was going for it this morning. So yes, I wanted to try out this blue one. And so I went for it, you guys. It's absolutely lovely. And it's bright, you guys. So that is what's in my waterline today. And so next, the mascara. I've been using this for some time now. I've been talking about it so much in my videos. So this is the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick. I'm so, so, so in love with this mascara, y'all. It just gives me the thickness and the length all in one, and your girl needs that. So, love, love, love this. Y'all check it out. And then next, as a highlight today, I went in with the old favorite from Rare Beauty. And there it is right there. It's in the shade Exhilarate. And here's what that shade looks like, y'all. You know I've talked about this. So if you ever want to be glowy and bright on your cheeks, your nose, wherever you want to highlight your decollete, get you some of this, y'all. <laughs> One sweep of this and you will be glowing from miles away. I actually have to go over mine with a powder just to tone it down a little bit, y'all. It's so, so good. That's what I have highlight my cheeks today. And again, for the blush today, I have that one from the Chanel LaBeige's collection in the coral shade that I picked up. Now, this one is now available on the website, so I'll be sure to link it down below for you. But yeah, that is what's on my cheeks today. 
you know how I feel about a coral. So, love this. And then next, what I'm wearing on my lips today is... A maximizer by Dior but when you see this color you're probably gonna be scared but don't let it scare you it's all about the blue today you guys so this is a new maximizer from Dior and you will see this in my upcoming makeup Monday when I unbox all of this stuff so yeah I picked up their new maximizers this one is in a blue shade here I will put that shade number up on the screen because I can't recall what it is. But it's just a creamy blue shade that doesn't come off that blue, you guys. Let me just touch it up for you. So you see how that comes off like a cool tone shade. It's a milky blue, so it's not shimmery. Some of the other ones that I got that came out as well is shimmery. But this one is a milky blue. And you guys, it looks good. And I love the maximizers because you know they give you that tingling feeling. And it feels just like icy and tingly to me. So I love that feeling. And so... Yeah, I love the maximizers for that. This is a plumping maximizer, so if you don't like that feeling, you're not going to like this. But yeah, that's what's on my lips today. And then next as a fragrance today, I pulled out one that I typically wear more in the spring summertime but it has that spicy note in it it's from louis vuitton and it's spell on you and this one you guys is a beautiful floral scent with a hint of spice i'll put the notes up on the screen just in case you're interested in this one but it's one that i absolutely love as well so that's what i'm wearing as a fragrance today and then next, as for my earrings today, you guys, I am wearing those that I unboxed doing um, Vlogmas that I picked up in Miami from Dior. And they're these cute little butterfly earrings. I kept going back and forth between these new ones that they had out because you know I love butterflies and they had that whole butterfly collection. But these are like in their tribal earrings because they have that big bulb on the back of the earrings. But I was going between these and the ones with the CD on it. And I'll pop that one on the screen. So I was going back and forth between those. And ultimately I chose the butterfly ones because you know I love butterflies. And I was like I can get those other ones anytime because they're standard in their line. But at the time, I didn't know because these were a collection, if they were limited edition or not. Thank God I got them, you guys, because they're not on the website anymore. So apparently, they probably were a limited edition that came out with those butterflies. So that is what I'm wearing on my ears today, you guys. And so next, the top I'm wearing today is just an old white sweater from Express that has ruffles down the sleeve. I remember buying this in a black and then this cream color and so yeah this is the sweater I have on today and looking at it up close you see that it has the ribs in it and then it's just like a nice little flowy reminds me of a butterfly <laughs> flowy little ruffle sleeve there and then my necklace for the day it's a butterfly necklace I wanted it to match my earrings um, this is not Dior though I think this one is Kate Spade if I'm not mistaken but yeah it was in my jewelry box it's old so I think that's what it is not too sure but that's what I have on my neck today and then on my wrist here I have another unboxing from Christmas and this is my new to my collection Hermes click clack H bracelet I believe is the smaller one one is a click 
H and one is the click clack. I want to say the click clack is the tiny one, but I'll put it on the screen. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm wearing with the gold hardware. My other ones I have in my collection are silver, so that's why I wanted to add a gold one. And yeah, I love it. And I believe the color is something with the M. I'll put that on the screen too because I totally forgot. But yeah, that's what I'm rocking on my wrist today. And as for the bag, I'm still rocking. I just put up a What's in My Bag on my channel the other day with this YSL Toy Lulu. You guys, I have been rocking this so much. It's just such an easy grab and go, you guys. I have been loving it. I still have my things in it, you guys, and I'm wearing it today because after this video, I have to do a couple errands because I need to run out um, and get some things for my trip. But yeah, I'm going to throw this right on me, you guys. So that is my bag of the day. Okay, guys, I am just going to jump right into all of this stuff right here that's just been sitting that I need to put away and give you a haul. It's not going to be in any particular order. I'm just going to be grabbing things. Um, yeah, so let's jump into it. First, um, I have a bag from... Sephora here now some of these things can be old and some of them can be recent but I know this is like an older bag that was sitting here um, so yeah let's get into what's in here so I picked up some new items from Natasha Denona and the first one here is her mini dream palette so, I love to take Natasha Denona's little mini palettes like this um, in my bag when I'm traveling. So, yeah, I picked up this new one that they had. Let's open it really quick. And don't worry, you know, you're going to see me do like looks with this one. I don't have this one in the full size, so that's why I wanted to pick it up in the mini. That is what those shades look like right there. I also picked up the Glow Blush also from that collection right there. It's beautiful. I've actually already tried this one out. Here is the packaging on that one. And there it is right there. It is gorgeous, you guys. You can sweep it with your brush to get all of the colors and put it on your cheeks. Or you can do these two right here like I did as a blush and then this one as a highlight. Y'all, this is about to go in my travel bag right now. So it's going with me on this trip. And then next, I wanted to try the new Fenty Beauty plush pudding which i have several of these but the reason why i wanted to try this one is because it has a shimmer in it so yeah i wanted to see what that was all about and lord knows i didn't bring my glasses to tell you what the name of this one is and i can't see it but i'll put it on the screen it looks like this and it has a beautiful shimmer to it. And I love these plush puddings. They're so hydrating and moisturizing on your lips. So if you haven't checked one of these out, check them out. They're really, really nice. The next item from that Sephora bag that I wanted to try was another newbie and it is from Laneige and it's their lip sleeping mask and this is what that one looks like and it just looks like cotton candy so I think that's what the name of it is again I can't see it and there it is right there it's just a nice blue and pink swirl and again, I believe that's called cotton candy. And when you get these little Laneige masks, they come with a little applicator, as you see right there. Let me just open this one up. 
there's what it looks like inside so it does smell like cotton candy hopefully this scent will dissipate really quick and won't bother me too much if it does i'll just give it away to my niece because she loves these too because i typically use the vanilla scent that really doesn't smell that much so yeah that's what i picked up from sephora next we have a bag from alta now i just recently went into alta because i wanted to pick up um some little items for my hair to take with me and good thing i did because they had some items by tracy ellis ross that i wanted to try and all the minis were on sale for buy one get one free so with that being said i got all these little minis to take with me and they are not that many to me but yeah i'm glad i picked it up because she's a curly hair girl and so am i so i wanted to try these products on my hair i've never tried them before and they had them again on sale in the minis for buy one get one free as of today they still have all the minis on sale the full size is not on sale just the minis and so this one here is a gel for your edges let's see here if i can get it out so that's what that gel looks like so i'm gonna put this in my travel bag one thing that i realized i forgot from this collection as i was getting it i forgot shampoo and conditioner so when i got home i realized that and i ordered it again online so my order is ready for pickup now so after i do this video i'm gonna run and pick that up but i got two of the hydrating mist balms and so yeah i like to spray some type of hydrating mist on my hair i particularly um go with the way or the number 10 i think it is but yeah i'm interested in trying this one so i picked two of those up and then since they were buy one get one free i got two sets and then the last thing i got was some curl mousse so i picked that up and it's just like a pump style here. I did also pick up from that line a shine spray because I love for my hair to have shine. However, it is in the full size and this is not on sale. So it's not part of the little mix and match deal. But that's what that looks like right there. And I sprayed some in my hair in the store and it is shiny. So that's what i love i don't like a dull look to my hair i love my hair to have shine that's just my personal preference so yeah but next y'all from ulta i picked up um this little cream and y'all let me tell y'all ulta is stepping their game up with the brands that they're carrying they now have pat mcgrath in there and y'all i picked up a cream from sol de janeiro they now have that in there oh my gosh sephora watch out so yeah i picked this one up here in the coral like orange one i just opened it in the store and i saw that it was a light smelling one just like the pink one that i love so is the purple one the yellow one the traditional one that everybody loves i can't do that one it's too much for me the scent really just throws me off so i have to do a light one such as this one but yeah pick this one up and it's in the travel size they had the sprays all of that if i can find that clip where i took it i'll share it with you on the screen so got that and then i got me two of the maracuja juicy lip plump here they are right here so I have two shades here. One, oh my goodness, is in Cherry Blossom. And then the other one is just a Pearl Shimmer Glass. And they look like this, you guys. 
and when you open them it's just a pump style like this I don't want to do it too much because if you do you can't retract it but they are the most shiniest lip plumps ever you guys they remind me with the texture of the Mario ones that's really really slippery I'll put that on the screen so they feel like that but they have that plumping sensation and this plumping sensation in these y'all it doesn't dissipate really fast it lasts a long time and it feels good i love that but again if you don't love that you might not love these but i love them for the beautiful shine that they have as well as that plumping tingling feeling the next one i got is that cherry blossom and this one is just a pinky shade. So it looks like that. It's just pink. And the only downfall I would say about these is you can't retract them back down. So once you retract them up, that's it. So that was in my bag from Ulta. Next, in the cosmetic world, I went to my local CCO. And I picked up two palettes i saw in there um i also picked up a body cream and then two of the items i got for free for purchasing over a hundred dollars that day that's what i love about the cosmetic center so first i got and was surprised to see these two in there from tom ford there are two eyeshadow palettes the first one is in smoky quartz if you can see that from Tom Ford and this one was one of those cream ones you know they come with a little duster here and to show you what those look like let me just take the plastic off and so look at that you guys gorgeous this is such a beautiful everyday eyeshadow palette and I'm going to love these because it's in that cream formula that I love. So, yeah. Pick that up. Then I picked up another one right here. And this one was in the shade Peach Dawn, number 41. And if you guys are not familiar with the CCO, everything that falls under Estee Lauder, like Tom Floyd, Clinique, Glamco, all those um, Too Faced, MAC, all of those brands like that, Killian falls under them. They have them in their store at a discounted price. So, and they had some Killian in there too. Um, but, yeah, so you get like at least 30% off. Most of the stuff runs more between 50 and 60 percent off like these palettes was 50 and then that day i went it was a extra 15 percent off let me see if the receipt's in the bag because i normally keep it in a bag it is um so the actual palette tom ford now these range in the 90 dollar range and oh my gosh my glasses i got it for 38.25 so there you are. You're getting two palettes and you're not even paying for the price of one. Do you see what I'm saying? So if they have it there, you better grab it. And so here is the other one, Peach Dawn. Let me take everything off of that. And that is Peach Dawn. So, yeah. I will definitely be wearing these. And then also that day, I picked up a little eyeshadow from MAC that they had in the $5 section. Here is what it looks like right here. I just thought it would be the perfect transition shade. Hopefully, the camera picks up the name for you because I can't see a darn thing. And I'm not getting up to get those glasses. I should have set them here, but I didn't. So, I thought this would be a nice transition shade for me. And, yeah, I picked it up. It was 5 bucks. 
And again, I got an extra 15% off of that because that's what the sale they were running that day. An extra 15% off your entire purchase. And then lastly, I picked up this body cream from Joe Malone. And if I didn't mention, that's under the Estee Lauder brand as well. And I got it in Tuberose Angelica. Luckily, that writing is big enough so I could see it. <laughs> And y'all, when I smelled this one, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I don't want to like tip it over. Oh my gosh, that tuberose in here. It smells so good. It smells heavenly. Y'all, I can't wait to wear this. I'm actually going to leave that out because I got to wear that tonight. And then the two items that I got free, she actually was supposed to, I think, give me one item. I don't know if it was one or two. Anyway. I have two in here free. This was the free item. I think she, I don't know. Sometimes the lady knows me and she knows I come in there a lot. She'll throw extra stuff in the bag. So, yeah, but this was the actual free item. And look how large that is. I love the Estee Lauder brand. I love it when they give me the creams for free because I love those creams. But this is the Micro Essence Treatment Lotion. And I've never had a problem with any of the Estee Lauder breaking my face out or anything like that. So this is a nice full-size large bottle. 6.7 fluid ounces, you guys. I got absolutely for free. Just for spending over $100. What was my total? Um, $135 and some change. So yeah, that was totally worth it to me because these are expensive, you guys. And then she threw in this Origins, which is another one of their brands. This here. And I'll show you what that looks like. And so that's what that looks like right there. I've never used Origins products before, so I have to read up about this one. This one is called the Mega Mushroom and um it's some type of concentrate that's all i can see y'all but yeah <laughs> i got that from the cco i was most excited about seeing some tom ford new eyeshadow palettes in there for me to pick up and then next across from that was the pandora store you guys for christmas my niece wanted a pandora bracelet and so i got her a bracelet and a charm that we both can put on our pandora bracelets so it was one of those ones you can split one side says aunt and one side says niece so she would have one i would have one that type of deal but y'all when i went to put on my old pandora bracelet it didn't fit anymore, you guys, because my wrist got smaller from the weight loss. So I had to go pick me up another one. So I went in there and I got this one here. And it's almost the same as the one I have. It's just the ending is different. So I got this one in the 19 inch, I believe it is. And, you know, you get them so they'll have enough room to, like, dangle off of your arm as well. Um, the only difference between this one and my other one, this one right here actually is rose gold. So I wanted to mix metals on this one with the charm because I have all of my older charms and it's a lot of them. Again, I haven't worn it in so, so long. And my niece is into it now, so she brought it back up. So that's why, you know, I have it now. So I am going to put all of my older charms on this one. And yeah, wear my Pandora bracelet again. So yeah, that was the reason for me getting another one. Next, you guys, I have this box here from Nordstrom's. I picked up these Uggs. I haven't bought Uggs in a while, you guys. But I picked up these ones right here that are a clog style Ugg. 
and I'll put the name of them up on the screen for you guys but this piece can go around the back of your ankle or if you don't want it on the back of your ankle you can just put it up the top depending on how you want to wear it and I just got it in this black shade I probably will wear these maybe on the plane and the difference about this shoe that I really really love that's different from the other Uggs it doesn't have the sheepskin or whatever that is in the inside of this one. It's just a nice soft material. So your feet won't get too hot in these. So that's what I love about that. And sometimes that like sheep's wool that's inside of it. I always have to wear socks because it'll make my feet itch a little bit. So I was happy to see that these didn't have that. Um, but it doesn't, it's not really bad um, where I can't take it. So I picked these up on Nordstrom website. Um, if you're interested in these, I will link everything below for you. So I got those. Next, I picked up my favorite sneaker to wear, you guys. I have been wearing these non-stop. And they're the On Clouds, you guys. Um, this particular one is the Cloud 5, which is, that's my favorite one I like to wear. I get them in a size 8. This one I saw on sale. It's in a rust color, so it says rust slash black on here if you can see that but y'all i have several pair of these i think my black and my white ones are the most used ones but i saw this cute little color here in rust again rust and black is the trim and yeah i said let me pick these up while they're on sale so i picked these up because again, I wear these all the time. I'm that new casual girl and I'm just wearing sneakers. They do come with extra laces here. And I love that you don't have to worry about tying them up, anything. You just slide them on, y'all. When I say, when I do a favorites video, already know these are going to be in there. Because I love them that much. So, pick those up on sale. And so, my next item, you guys, is a huge item I'm going to try to get out of the way. But, I wanted to share with you, because I'm taking it with me on this trip, you guys. Is this travel bag. This is large, so it might not fit all the way in the screen. But, y'all. I picked this up from... Sam's Club. So this is part of that member mark brand, which is the Sam's Club brand. And it's their version of the Weekender. So if you guys know and love the Bez Weekender, save yourself some money and go get you this one from Sam's because it's exactly the same thing, you guys. So on the back, it has that little trolley piece that you can put over your suitcase there and it has a zip here a large zip here I'm going to take this as my carry on and then it has that bottom where people normally put like shoes so you have that part here you can put shoes under there. For me, I'm going to put some extra handbags under here. And then you have your big opening. Opening here. And you have some compartments there on the side. And then also a zipper closure and more compartments on the other side. You guys, this is amazing. And it looks just like the Bez one. And they have it in like five different colors on Sam's Club. And I believe Sam's Club price was $49.98. When you get the Bez ones, um, they are $108. So again, you're getting over half price for this. So 
y'all this is going with me as a carry-on this time and so yeah i got that from sam's and again i will link that you guys because that's an amazing deal and it feels really good so i'm excited about that one and then next y'all i have a couple items from crate and barrel i went in there to get me some extra just glasses that i love one of them being my favorite one that I love to drink my iced coffee in. And it looks like a beer-shaped cup. Now, you guys have seen this all over Instagram. You've seen me have these as well. When I first bought mine way back when, the first one I bought, I got it off of Amazon because someone had linked it and I got it. And I used it for maybe a couple days. And that thing broke, y'all. The glass was so thin and flimsy on it. I was just like, no, I have to find me a better one. So, my favorite one is from Crate and Barrel. And they're only $3.95, I think. You guys, I will link it. I had bought two previously and I still have those two and I have bought them over like two years ago and they're still perfect condition glass never shattered or broke that one I told you about from Amazon I went to put ice in it one day and it just cracked in my hand it was crazy so yeah get you some sturdy ones from crate and barrel because you can tell the difference in the glass this is a heavier glass and you ain't got to worry about this breaking in your hand that's dangerous so yeah pick you up some of these so when i was in there i saw them i said oh let me get two more because they're my favorite and you know i use them all the time and i hate that sometimes I was like, I got to find it, wash it out, all that. So, yeah, I got me some backups, y'all. So, I got two more of those that I need to take downstairs and clean. And then my other favorite glass I got, which I already have this one in a clear, too, but I saw it in green. You know, it's my color. I had to get it. It's my, like, highball. I call it a highball glass. I don't know what it's officially called. I'll link it for you guys. But I saw it in green. They had it also in a smoke. And then I already have the clear one. They have it in this size and then a smaller size, too. So, whichever one you prefer. Yeah. That's what I picked up from Crate and Barrow. Um, so the green one was $6.95 and the other one is called the canned glass. It's $3.95. Yeah, these are actually called a highball glass. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, I was right. But anyway, that is what I got from Crate and Barrel. And then next, y'all, I was in Home Goods and... I got this little glass here. I couldn't resist. It is plastic, so that's nice. But it had pink butterflies on it, y'all. I couldn't resist that. I'm going to put me some coffee in here, too. So I picked up that one. It was only $3.99. Then, I don't know what's wrong with me, y'all. I'm still in the Barbie phase. So I saw these hand creams in there and i picked up a pack of these i don't know how they smell it just has four barbie hand creams in there and they were 5.99 so i got those i saw this little cute barbie mask for your eyes maybe this will help me go to sleep if i put this on my eyes at least that's my thought and it was only $4.99. They had blankets. They had um, pillows as well. The last thing that I picked up that I saw from that Barbie collection, because you know, your girl loves a nice glass of wine. Um, but this is the Barbie... Barbie X Dragon glassware set. And there's some wine glasses. Here they are right here. So, you know what drew me to this. They're pink. So, you get a light pink one and you get a dark pink one in here. And they were 
$19.99. Let me show you what they look like. And they were large glasses. So, when you open it, looks like that. And so there you are right there. So if you can see, one is more of a fuchsia dark pink and then you have the little light pink. And then if you can see right there on the stem in gold, it says Barbie. There you are. So I thought those were cute, you guys. They also, I think they have them in the champagne too, but the one I was at, I didn't see the champagne ones. I saw just the wine glasses, which was okay with me. So I got that from TJ Maxx. So next up, you guys, is Zara. I went in Zara and I just got me two pair of, I called them, or I used to call them back in the day when they were out, because you know fashion just goes in circles to me. Um, they were called, I used to call them parachute pants. I don't know if that's still the name, but that's what they are to me. So. I got these gray ones and what I loved about the Zara ones is they had pockets right here and then they have a pocket down here in the front right here so that is what I picked up from Zara if you see the bottoms of it it draws in right there so I got them in this gray and then I got them in this green they were regular price $45.90 and the day I went in there y'all they were on sale for $12 and something and y'all they fit me so well so I got those $12.99 was what I paid for each one of these pants that was regular price $45 so that was a steal to me so I picked both colors up if I could have found the black one in my size I would have got that one too but they were not so I got those from Zara and then next right here I just have a pair of mother jeans that I picked up from Nordstrom Rack so I got these and they look like this here. Here's what the back looks like. And then the bottom has the little rugged edges. So I love that in a pair of jeans. I love that, especially when I want to dress a pair of jeans up and put on some flats, like some ballet flats. I love for the end of my jeans to have that rugged like look or um, like no hem look there. So I got those pair of jeans. But they were on sale on the rack as well. If they still have them, I'll link them. They probably don't because it's been a while. But I'll try to look for you guys. Next, let's talk about Lululemon. They had some items on sale as well. This little soft um wonder puff bag was one of them they had it in gray black and white this is the two liter size and they have it on sale for 29 dollars i got the gray one because from h m i also got this gray vest so, yeah, a lot of this stuff I bought, like, after Christmas because I got a lot of Christmas gift cards and money. So, that's what it went toward. So, yeah, I got my agenda and some clothing. <laughs> but, so, yeah, um, I got this in gray while I'm on this one. And I also got it in navy blue. I'll show you that one in a second. So, I got it again to match so can you see me with a pair of either jeans on or those parachute pants some sneakers this vest a little shirt that i'm going to show you that i got several of two underneath of the vest with my little crossbody little lululemon it's a vibe 
Okay, so next on sale after Christmas, Lululemon had some sales, and you know that I love their little pullovers. You saw in my last video I had on that sparkly black one. Well, I got this cropped one that also looked really cute. I love the color. So, it has the hood again. This one is just a zip up. It do, it's not a pullover. So, it looks like that. They had this one on sale too. The regular price says 118 but that's not what I paid. It was on sale. So, yeah, I can't wait to wear this one. I got that one. Then... I got this stretchy Philly zip up here. And I'll put all the names on the screen for you guys if you're interested or link it. But this one was on sale too with the little hoodie. I'll put in a little clip if I can find it of me trying it on in the store. And I like this one because it just fits really tight to your body. This green hoodie is called the Define Hooded Jacket. And as you can see, that's the sale price I got it for there. So, like that. Got that one. Then I purchased this one online when I got home. So, this one is in like a purplish pink like type of color. This is another pullover style one. And it's called the Scuba Oversize Half Zip Hoodie. So that's what these are here. So this is that one. The part where you put your hands in right there. And then you have the hoodie. So I have that one. I don't know. I was into the casual stuff this year. So I also have from Nordstrom's this little red hoodie right here that zips up as well um this one is from that bp line so that's that one and then also from h and m i fell in love with these tops so i ordered some more online i got the black and the white one in the store which they had those two standard colors in the store but then I wanted this gray one that they didn't have in the store and it's that stretchy type of feel um, like dry fit feel of a long sleeve a shirt where you can work out in this one or you can just put it on like I would throw like my white one on um, and put that gray vest over top of it with either some jeans or those parachute pants with some sneakers. Yeah. So I got this already in black and white, which I've already worn those. I got those in the store. And, um, yeah. So I picked this gray one up online. I'll link it so you can see and it was really inexpensive what was it this is a medium i got and i want to say they were like 12.99 something like that so got that and so next here is that same crop vest from h&m this is just in the navy these were 26.99 it also comes in white and yes, I have the white one here too. So you guys see when I love something, I just get multiples of it. And I love wearing a vest, you guys. I'm not big on wearing coats and jackets. I just love to have like a long sleeve shirt and then throw a vest over top of it. You know, but if it's cold, cold, of course I'm going to wear a coat. But, you know, my age, y'all, I get hot really fast. So wearing a vest is what I love to be in, you guys. And lastly, I picked up this suit um, from Express. So this metallic suit went on sale at Express, y'all, and I had to pick it up. Here is the blazer, and I thought the next time I go out with my husband maybe you know some type of new year's event or anything like that i can wear this nice little 
metallic blazer. It's a one button blazer there. The regular price of this blazer says 168 definitely didn't pay that i think it was all the way on sale after christmas it was like maybe 60 or 70 percent off it was like 50 something dollars and then the pants were on sale for like 30 something dollars so i got a whole suit for less than a hundred dollars so i think it's still on their website so i'll link it if i could find it these are the pants that i got right here they're just a zip-up style pant trouser that matches exactly with that blazer. And they are wide leg at the bottom, you guys. So, I had to get these in regular because they did not have any in short. So, I'm going to have to get them altered. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that because I love the fit of this and I have so many rewards at Nordstrom that I can go get these altered for free <laughs> so when you are like a card holder you can get alterations for free they give you a certain amount you know um, dependent on your status so I can get these done for free and just to let you know the clothes does not have to be from Nordstrom for them to alter it for you um you know it doesn't matter to them where it's from so at least where I go it doesn't so yeah I'm gonna go in there and have them to alter the pants for me so I'll wear it this year in 2024 to whatever holiday event I go to so I got that and so y'all I think that's everything if it's not I'll share it with you later you guys if I forgot anything but that is what I wanted to share with you today so your girl is now gonna go run her errands come back get all this mess up and get my bags packed you guys and so by the time I'm gone is probably when you'll be viewing this video but you guys as always thank you so so much for watching today and i'll see you in my next video bye guys